We have been working on multiplication and division story problems in class, and it definitely helps to figure out are you multiplying or dividing, and what type of multiplication or division, array, repeated groups, or area. So looking at this problem, Dylan decided to buy cookies from the store. Each box has six, six cookies. How many cookies did Dylan buy if he got seven boxes? So I notice it's saying there are six cookies in each box, and there's seven boxes. So if there's six cookies in each box and seven boxes, that's six sets of seven, so that would be multiplication. It's not talking about columns and rows, so it's not an array. It's not talking about length and width, so it's not area. It is repeated groups, since it is six sets of seven. So that problem would look like six times seven equals what? Uh, you either know your multiplication facts and you can get the answer. You could do six circles and divide out or and put seven dots on each one and count them up. Or you can use the multiplication you do know. Like six times five is thirty. So six times six is thirty-six, six more. Six times seven would be six more than that, which is forty-two. So how many cookies did Dylan buy? 42 cookies if you bought seven boxes of six cookies. Now you try. Logan decided to separate her pencils into nine groups of four. How many pencils does Logan have in all? 